Yeah, so this is like the last thing I want to be doing right now, so I'm going to make it quick. So we all, you know, I've got the Polizei units, I've got the Gestapo Sussex squad on me. Now a new team has come in to my realm. They're Markle's Hit Squad, and there's a reason that I'm calling them that. Well, they actually called themselves that, or one referred to themselves as that. Um, I'm getting really, sorry, I'm getting really fucking sick of these people. You know, sending, sending people to come and tell me I'm going to be thrown in jail and have fun in jail and she's going to sue you and have fun in jail and you're going to you're gonna lose everything, you know, da da da. Okay, fine. You know, it's annoying, very annoying. There's nothing I can do to stop that. But, you know, and, and then I have the, you know, the ones that, and I've talked about this, that are mad at me because I criticize the Hitler youth and all of those sorts of things and that they're proud of their heritage and I should stop. But now I have these ones and this has gone to a whole nother level considering what I've already been through. So, I'll just keep this part to myself. <clears throat> Markle's Hit Squad, are we ready? So I had two visitors I'm going to tell you about both, but one is very serious. I'm going to go over that first, and then, th and then there's just an idiot behind her. Or behind him, excuse me. So, got to just do this real quick, you know. Um, so irritated, I can't even tell you, these people. I don't know how many times we need to keep telling people how dangerous these people are. And unhinged, and the rest of it. And they're mad... Hold on. They're mad that some girl got that that they the haters got some girl fired. Meanwhile, that girl has been talking about killing and shooting Queen Elizabeth and shooting up her school for years. So who got who fired? Her employer fired her because of what she, she's said and done. If there wasn't a reason to fire that girl, because companies will defend their employees, they she wouldn't have been fired. And who all and and who are the people that are like we'll go after your family, your kids, your job, your cousins, your this, your that, and the other thing? Fucking sick of these people. So I had posted this video the other day after Cardi B's um, won her court case. So I got a visitor uh, about a half an hour ago, the troubling visitor, on this uh, this video. Oh, and I hope I'm hurting your eardrums. We'll get to her. So on the surface, this looks okay. This OG Antonio Mafia, you know, because when I'm looking at my phone, it looks kind of small. So he writes, Tesha K sells her home already and gives me a link to his video YouTube channel. I respond, okay, so what's so surprising about that? I mean, she did just get sued and Cardi B won, so I don't know what's so so shocking about that, but whatever. What's so surprising about that and what on earth would give you the impression that I would fucking care? So I clicked on the, uh, I noticed the little picture there. I clicked on the link to see the video, which I didn't watch. I don't, well, no, I watched a couple, a little bit of it. So his YouTube channel, this is his profile, OG Antonio Mafia's profile picture. So, yeah. So I got the Polizei units threatening me in jail. You're going to jail. We're going to sue you. She's going to sue you. Um, don't criticize the Hitler youth. That's our heritage and I'm proud of it. You know, all the other shite. And now I got, I got this on me. But this isn't the first gun that I've seen. Take a good look, folks. This is Meghan Markle. This guy would have never have found my channel unless somebody told him about it. Oh, gee. They're not worth it. Whoever sent you is not worth it. I'm going to tell you why. So, OG Antonio Mafia has a YouTube channel. And OG Oto Antonio Mafia 
self describes him as a himself as a hired or a retired hitman and take his word for it you know he does have a a machine gun there an ar or whatever that is so i'll just take your word for that antonio og a retired hitman now a youtuber that blogs from the pits of hell well isn't that cozy so to anybody out there that wants to come and drop their shite on my on my YouTube channel, you know, I can't stop you, but I suggest next time you don't have weapons in your profile pictures and describe yourself as a retired hitman cuz I'm going to tell everybody about it. I mean, clearly these people don't watch my videos because anytime I see something troubling, I immediately make a video about it. And OG Antonio Mafia, I just have one thing to say to you. I hope that gun, or what machine gun, or whatever it is, is registered. And if it's not, I just hope it's your, it, it's your friend's gun. Because it'd be a shame if that gun wasn't registered. And you came to my YouTube channel and put that shite on there for whoever, I hope I don't have to start dragging Cardi B into this. Because that was Cardi B's stuff, but, you know, I'm not a Cardi B hate channel. But I don't. I, I hope I don't have to start dragging Cardi B into it, and the rest of us don't have to start dragging Cardi B into it either. Don't get markled. It happens to everybody. It happens to everybody. So, again, I hope that's a legal firearm. OG. I'm not going to do anything, but there's a lot of people that watch this channel that might. So there's that gun. We all remember on the right here from when uh, my name got released in Tigris. I've gone over that before. Tigri Tigrisi or whatever her name is. Oh boy, here I start killing again. That was a gif where Keanu Reeves is locking and loading his gun in regards to me. And then we all know how insane and psycho Tina is from the Sussex Squad podcast. How un completely unhinged. They are actually, they're not writings where she can say, oh, I didn't write that. No, they're, they're audio recordings of the psychotic person that she is and dangerous and potentially violent person that she is. So she has here a picture of, I forget what rapper that is, a picture of that rapper with a machine gun or an AR or whatever it is. And she writes, I heard the derangers, that would be us, are upset that I have a walk-in safe full of guns that I actually keep clean. Okay, well, okay, I'll just keep that to myself. What's the point of having guns and not cleaning them? Well, what do they need clean? Well, I guess if you go to the range. Welcome to America, folks. I believe in my Second Amendment right, which is surprising. I believe in my Second Amendment right, or do you? I hope your guns are registered, Tina. And I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed about it. Stay mad, wolfhound. Then Tina went on to say how she goes to the gun range to relieve stress. Now, a lot of people do that, but a get but a lot of people aren't unhinged like Tina. And as far as Tina goes with her uh, mental state, and I am not talking poorly that she has had uh, suicidal ideations, as stated by her, she shouldn't have a gun anyway. So these are the people that Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, asso associates herself with. I'm sure she doesn't call them and invite them over because you're useless to her. She doesn't give a shite about any of you. But she'll let you do her dirty work and put guns everywhere. See these pictures? Hang on. And there have been more. Hang on. Let me just come back, you know, here's the Duchess of Sussex for you. And he wasn't on my page to say something to me about Cardi B. He was on my channel to harass me about Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex. She's so classy. Hope that gun's registered.
you know, I'm not going to show you the next one because it's just ridiculous. I mean, it's just purely ridiculous. And, um, you know, these people are insane. I'll throw her in on another one. I don't want to muddy up this tape. This woman, in my opinion, Meghan Markle, is dangerous. Now, she's not going to actually do anything on her, by herself or on her own. Oh, no. She's going to have everybody else do it, and then their lives are going to get wrecked, and she'll turn her back on them, like she does everybody else. So think twice, folks. And again, you know, if you're a Cardi B fan or Cardi B, you know, whatever, I hope, I hope I don't have to start dragging her name into it, too, if I get the feeling that there's anything funny going on because these two supposedly talked or were going to talk or did talk. Meghan Markle is, in my opinion, based on the experiences I've had with her fans, and I believe that she knows who I am, who we are, because Christopher Boozy said she probably does. So, in my opinion, and experiences with this woman or everybody around her, I think she's a dangerous psychopath, and somebody needs to do something. So, Markle's hit squad, folks, so you got your Gestapo, you got your police eyes, now you got your hit squads locked and loaded with machine guns for your classy Duchess of Sussex. Like the channel, subscribe. Don't do it, folks. She's not worth it. She's not worth it. Again, I'll scream, I... Listen, I tell everybody everything, so do what you want. Share this video, please. You know, Jack Royston might want to see this video, and this is just a quick one, as you know. I've got plenty more. I've been cataloging every single move that these people have made since June 26th. While I keep this material entertaining, I'm doing it for a reason. So talk to you tomorrow. I look forward to the comments. Psycho.